hope you are doing well and i hope you are being benefited from my videos if you find them helpful then thumbs up subscribe to my channel share and do comment today i am going to dis discuss a clinical case of facial losses or liver puke disease it is also known as bottle jaw disease which is one of the symptoms of the disease viewers it is an important clinical case so must watch the video till end here we go fasciola hepatica this picture is describing the etiological uh, agent that causes fasciolosis in your animals mostly cattle cow and small cattle like sheep or goat so what is the etiology or what is the causes of this disease two important agents fasciola hepatica and in warmer climates fasciola gigantica cause this disease the disease fasciolosis is caused by above two species of parasitic flatworms or trematodes that mainly affect the liver belongs to the group of food borne trematodes infections and is zoonosis meaning an animal infection that may be transmitted to humans so viewers it is very dreadful disease it can even affect human beings so now we discuss the life cycle of fasciolosis disease here you can see that the adult or juvenile liver fluke resides in the animal body when the animal uh, uh, excrete their feces eggs are released here you can see the eggs are released from the animal body they develop into meristem and then meristem is engulfed by intermediate host this is the intermediate host viewers which is this this is a snail yes the intermediate host of the fasciolosis meristem is inter is snail and uh, uh, cecaria is uh, then excreted or uh, removed from the intermediate host and they go into the gross and this gross is then eaten by the animal and the life the life cycle goes on now we will discuss what is the epidemiology of this disease or infection infection is by the ingestion of metasarcary on her page geographic distribution seasonality and disease risk is determined by occurrence of intermediate host such as laminoid mud snails now we will discuss what are the signs and the symptoms of the disease the disease is uh, occur in two forms it may be acute syndrome which usually occurs in sheep there are no uh, prominent clinical signs of acute fasciolosis in this case sudden death can occur now what is chronic syndrome it occurs in both sheep and cattle uh, one of the uh, sign is weight loss another sign is reduced milk yield there is a sub mandibular edema which is the most prominent defining sign of the disease there could be dullness weakness lack of appetite and the bottle jaw is due to bottle jaw is actually due to the formation of sub mandibular edema uh, and uh, it uh, results in uh, bottle jaw which is very very important clinical sign of the disease and the disease is also named on the uh, on the behalf of this sign bottle jaw there could be pallor and edema of mucosa and conjunctivitis here you can see uh, the bottle jaw it is named as bottle jaw because it develops under the jaw 
of the animal. Here is another picture. Uh, this beautiful, cute uh, dolly is affected with bottle jaw. Now, what are the lesions on post mortem? In case of acute syndrome, we see pale fibril liver with parasitic tracts and hemorrhages. While in case of chronic syndrome, on post mortem, when we uh, dissect the liver, we see fibrous liver, bile ducts grossly distended and thickened. And here is the picture of the liver with lesions of liver fluke that are due to liver fluke. What is the treatment of this disease? There are a uh, mm, uh, uh, couple of drugs that we uh, give as a treatment of the disease. One of them is triclobendazole, clozentanil, trinoxonil, oxyclozanide, and albendazole. Uh, mostly albendazole is used uh, for this treatment. Here is a point to note for you people is that not all the above drugs are equally effective against all stages of the liver fluke development. Here for small animals, this uh, uh, bottle of uh, drug is given. Uh, here you can see the albendazole suspension and uh, its dosage is 2.5% per uh, weight per volume. And for large animals, uh, uh, albendazole is also available in large bottles. What is the control of this disease? Uh, in order to control this uh, disease, uh, we, uh, uh, we uh, uh, always avoid or drainage the snail habitats. And number second control is the strategic anthelmatic dosing programs that kill the uh, fasciola hepatica and other uh, factors that cause the uh, disease. Thank you very much.